Okay, so we're, if we're adding um, functions together, and here we can see that we've got 5x plus 5x. Well, because we've got an x here and an x here, we're just counting the number of x's that we have. So 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 what? 10 x's. When we've got multiply, though, we first multiply the numbers together. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. Whereas x multiplied by x is x squared. Anything multiplied by itself is always that number squared. 3 times 3 can also be written as 3 squared. 4 times 4 can also be written as 4 squared. The squared means it's that number multiplied by itself. Okay? So if we uh, instead had 7x plus 3x and wanted to compare that with 7x times 3x. 7x plus 3x, well 7 plus 3 is 10 and we've got x's in both terms so we've got 10x as our answer. Whereas 7x multiplied by 3x, well 7 3's are 21 and x multiplied by x is x squared. Then we have x plus 9x compared with x times 9x. Well, if there's nothing in front of the x, it's the same as a 1 being there. So we've got 1 plus 9, which is 10, 10 x's. Whereas x times 9x, well, 1 times 9 is 9, and x times x is x squared. So these are some of the basic skills of algebra. Uh, what about then when you've got 3x times 4x? Well, that's pretty easy. 3 4s are 12. x times x is x squared. Whereas x times 4y, how would we do that? Well, there's a 1 in front here. We look at the terms, that we, numbers that we multiply together first. 1 times 4 is 4. x times y is xy. And when we're multiplying, we're allowed to have different terms and we just put them after one another with the first letter of the alphabet first. So if we have a half x multiplied by 4y, a half times 4 is 2, we do the numbers first, x times y is known as xy. Okay. What about uh, 3b multiplied by 2 y. Now let's have 2 a. Well 3 times 2 would be 6. b times a. So if we had um, 3 a or 3 b multiplied by a half a the answer would be 3 times a half is 1 and a half. A times B, or B times A is BA, but we would always write the A first, so that would be AB.